Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at a problem that involves intersecting tangent and secant line segments. We have in the diagram below, line segment AB is tangent to circle O at point A, line segment DCB is a secant, and we have the measure of line segment AB is equal to X, the measure of line segment DB is equal to X plus 8, and the measure of line segment CB is equal to 4. And we need to find the length of line segment AB. So to get started, let's label all the line segments involved in this problem. We have the length of line segment AB is equal to X, so we can label this piece here X. The length of line segment DB is equal to X plus 8, so we're going to label this entire line segment here X plus 8. And finally we have the length of line segment CB is equal to 4. So now we bring our attention over to the tangent secant theorem. When we have some circle O and we have a tangent line segment intersecting a secant line segment at some point B outside the circle, well, then the length of the tangent line segment squared is equal to the length of the secant segment times the length of the outer segment, which gives us DB times CB equals AB squared. So now if we use this theorem in the context of this problem, the tangent segment, in this case the length of the tangent segment is equal to X, so we have x squared, so we're looking at x squared equals, and now the length of the secant segment, remember, is x plus 8, so we have x squared equals x plus 8 times the length of the outer segment CB, in this case the length of CB is 4, so x plus 8 times 4. So now we need to distribute, we have 4 times x plus 4 times 8, so we have 4x plus 4 times 8 is 32, equals x squared. So now this is where finding the roots of a quadratic equation is going to come in. We need this technique to solve this problem. So we need to bring all of the terms to one side. So we're going to subtract 4x from both sides, and we're going to subtract 32 from both sides of the equation. And now on the right hand side, 4x minus 4x cancels, 32 minus 32 cancels, and now we have x squared minus 4x minus 32 equals 0. So now we need to ask ourselves what two numbers will add to negative 4 and multiply to negative 32. And after a little bit more thought, we'll arrive at x minus 8 times x plus 4. This is how we would factor this quadratic expression. And we can convince ourselves because negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4, negative 8 times positive 4 is equal to a negative 32. So now we need to consider two cases. Remember, when we have the product of two numbers equal to 0, either one of those numbers could be 0. So we have either x minus 8 is equal to 0, or we have another case where x plus 4 is equal to 0. So now let's solve the first case. We add 8 to both sides, and this gives us x equals positive 8. And now, for the second case, we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. And this gives us x equals negative 4. But now, let's think about the roots of this, of this quadratic equation in the context of the problem. Remember, we're trying to find the length of line segment AB, which is represented by x. But could we have a negative length? No, there is no such thing as a negative length. So we're going to cross off this solution here. We reject this root and we accept the positive root. And now the extra step in this problem, we have the length of line segment AB is equal to 8, and now the length of secant DB is equal to x plus 8, so we could just plug in x, and we have 8 plus 8 is 16, so this tells us DB is equal to 16, and finally, well CB is already in simplified form, or it's already in a real number form. So now we can substitute these values back into the tangent secant theorem, and we have AB squared, so we're looking at 8 squared is equal to DB, which is 16, times CB, which is 4. So now we have 8 squared is 64, and 16 times 4 is also 64. So we know for sure that this value of x checks out. So the length of line segment AB is equal to 8. Okay, well this is going to conclude this 
intersecting tangent and secant line segment problem. Thank you all for watching, and I hope this video was helpful.